everyone. Uh, I just wanted to take a break from doing all the chat videos that I've been posting. Maybe I've been doing too many of those. Um, I just wanted to do another low-key video about uh, one of the older books that I did. And um, so we're going to be talking about this one here, Youth is Wasted, which came out in 2013 from, um, from Ad House Books, designed by Chris Pitzer. So... Uh, this cover was just a sketch that I submitted for an idea for the cover and Chris just liked the sketch enough to to blow it up and use it and uh, I like it too. It's from one of the stories inside of the, the book. Uh, what is this? This is something... I don't know what this is. That's weird. Alright, but it's cool. Anyway, so inside flaps have the story of my, my career. It's just kind of a fake uh, comic. I, I don't really know what this is actually. I don't remember. I don't really bad. Uh, it's the history of my comics. Here we got a monster rubbing this book on his penis. Funny. Introduction by my older brother. Very problematic these days. Blah blah blah. This uh, story here, The Easy Life, was from um, Blammo number six. Uh, so I think most of the stuff that's in this book are are from either Blammo number six, uh, seven, and just like mini comics and anthologies. Maybe I can't really. Remember. I've, I mean, you know what? I haven't even like opened this book until I just now started recording. So all this is uh, going to be as new to me as it is to you. Um, Abby's Road was uh, probably one of the most popular stories I had done at this time. This story was my one and only appearance in the Best American Comics uh, anthology series um, when it was edited by Alison Bechdel. So it's a story of a juggalo and his, his girlfriend. Uh, very crudely drawn, I can't help it. I was still, well I still am drawing crudely, but not this crudely. So this had like a, a gray wash on it originally, but when I reprinted this book, or when I reprinted it in this book, I rescanned it in and just did it with the line work instead because the gray wash was kind of muddy and it didn't look very good. So, Buried Alive, a uh, one page story that was in Blamo uh, 7, I think. The Water Sprite, this is a fairy tale that I did for an anthology series that Russ Kick published of comics uh, fairy tales. I did a few of them. And this artwork was in the uh, in, a, in a show at the Society of Illustrators in New York, and I like years ago, and I only just recently got the artwork back, and it, it was pretty dramatic. I don't think those people like me anymore. Punks vs. Lizards, one of my most popular comics, about a bunch of punk rockers fighting giant lizards in an abandoned city. Just a dumb idea I came up with when I was working at Kilgore Books. Uh, who are you, Jesus? Story, short story from Blamo Seven. That when I finished it, I remember I, I sent my comics out um, to a bunch of artists I liked, and one of the artists was Jeffrey Brown, who I had recently on the channel to chat with. And I remember he wrote me back a letter that said, "This should have been a graphic novel. Why didn't you stretch this out?" And I had never done a graphic novel at this point, so I was like, "Oh, is that what it is? I could just stretch out one of my short stories." Uh, but I don't recommend doing that. Uh, I Could Be Dreaming was from a humor publication that Hickenhawk published uh, about a guy who sees a monster in his room at night who's just rubbing things on his penis, all the stuff in his room. But it turns out it's just a coat rack with a peg down there. This is one of my, my most popular stories um, from Blamo 7. I don't really remember. It's about a guy on Halloween night who helps a little girl who's lost. That's what it is. Um, I remember just drawing this after work at Panera Bread. Anyway. Star Dollars is another uh, fairy tale comic from Russ Kick's anthology. It's very busy. 
these. This is a comic I drew <clears throat> um, after I ended a relationship with Robin, um, this uh, a partner I had for a few years, um, and I had a dream, and I drew the dream as a comic, but I switched the genders, so I was the woman character. This uh, 1999, the year, the year my world ended, was a short story that I had published as its own little comic for uh, this little company called uh, Oh shit, called uh, Retrofit Comics when it first started. Um, Box Brown wrote like an email to a bunch of artists and was just like, "Hey, uh, do you have a story I want to that I can publish um, as a comic book for my my new publishing company?" And that's what I gave them. I wrote this one here, 1999, which is about typical MVS character, loser character who works at a restaurant. Uh, I, I was proud of this story, but I don't think it made much of a mark in the world. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Can only get better. Uh, this is a character which I, I use later on as, um, in these comics called uh, 19th Century Cartoonist. I published them in Blammo 9, and it was popular. It was a good, like, I got a lot of funny uh, stories out of that, using that character and making fun of comics in the 19th century. <clears throat> so, uh, another uh, fairy tale comic from Russ Kick's anthology. Um, I was having a great time drawing this, apparently. I don't even remember most of this stuff. So, this is from Blammo. Eight expectations. Another story that that I had written about uh, the end of that relationship that I was in, um, and how I was dealing with it. I was basically dealing with my heartache through through comics. Huh. Poor Robin. There you go. Roommates, this is a comic I had published in Mome, the anthology from Fantagraphics Books, the last volume of Mome. So it was originally um, in color when it was published. And uh, this was about um, this roommate I had named Matt Brown, who we just didn't get, get along at all after we moved in together. We were friends and we moved in and we started hating each other. So I did this comic and, and Matt is represented by Doug, represented by Doug, and I'm Sam. So, uh, yeah. That's what that's about, and uh, it's a good one. It's funny. So here's some notes. All the stories. Uh, the continuation of the story on the inside flap with my death. And uh, there you go. 19th century cartoonist who doesn't know how bleak it gets in the future. That's it. Thanks a lot, guys. I know these videos are kind of weird. I hope you have a good day. It's super hot out here in the south. It's really hot today. Hope it's better where you are. Talk to you later.